All right, let's pull in Jürgen Verla. He is head of the Korean-German Chamber of Commerce. We're going to talk about Asia in this era of budget cutting in just a minute, Mr. Verla. But first, let's talk about Germany. 80 billion euros in cuts here. Your opinion, uh, a necessary evil? Yes, certainly, if you look at the indebtedness of Germany and the budget situation, uh, and uh, certainly Germany should also give a good example to its European neighbors. You are, are very sensitive to what consumers want, obviously. You talk to business people all the time, in, in this, particularly in the exporting industry. Um, attached to these budget cuts here in Germany, we've got new taxes on nuclear power plants, new taxes on the airlines. A lot of people are saying this is a hidden tax that will then, then be forwarded on to the consumer. Are you worried about consumer spending right here in your home market? Uh, I do not really care that much on the German market because I live in Korea and obviously in Korea things would go much different. Yeah, Cor but it's important what happens yeah. on this market for right. businesses in Korea. They want to yeah. sell their goods to Germany. Yes, but I think it's a consumer good which Korea delivers to Germany, whilst Germany delivers to Korea more investment goods. And I think the consumption will remain stable in Germany. What do business people abroad, particularly in South Korea where you are, what do they tell you, what are their impressions about the health of the European economy right now? Uh, we hear very, not very encouraging news, but uh, I'm rather confident if you see how Germany went along over the last years and especially through the crisis 2008, 2009, um, we are quite confident that Germany will be the first country to really recover. Do you hear people saying that perhaps the Europeans could learn from the Asians who had their own crisis in the late 90s? Yes, Asians are getting more and more self-confident and giving good advice uh, to the Europeans. And the stimulus packages which you have seen in Asia during the last crisis, 2008, 2009, okay. have been very impressive and positive. Yeah. All right. Mr. Verla, stay with us. We're going to talk with you in just a few moments again. Well, while spending here in Germany is being slashed, the push is stronger than ever to expand exports. And of course, Asia is at the top of the list. In the last decade, exports from Germany to Asia almost doubled from 70 billion euros in 2001 to around 112 billion last year. The dip you see there at the end of 2008, a result of the financial and the economic crises. While Asia has been remarkably resilient, GDP growth in the area is strong. We have this report on the booming demand for green technology. China is becoming the land of the wind turbine. Nowhere else in the world has wind energy seen such rapid development. German firms see a major opportunity. Firms like Nordex. The company builds the giant rotor blades found in wind parks around the country. Nordex employs 200 people in Dongying, one of two production plants in China. The Chinese market will soon account for 20% of Nordex's sales. But foreign firms have to contend with a growing state-backed domestic industry. Last year, the government in Beijing awarded the majority of new contracts to Chinese companies. It's round-the-clock peak hour in Bangalore, and the roadways are bursting at the seams. Business is flocking to the southern Indian city, including the German firm Mapal. The precision toolmaker set up shop here five years ago. Mapal's tools are widely used in the automotive and engineering sectors. It was a major priority to keep production and customer services local. With India pumping billions into improving its infrastructure, Mapal's German managers decided to tap into the rapidly expanding market. South Korea, three hours from the capital Seoul. 
It's a region which has more sunshine than almost anywhere else on the Korean peninsula. And it's here the company Solar World has been commissioned to build a solar power plant. South Korea is trying to reduce its dependence on energy imports. Solar World has teamed up with a local energy provider to produce solar modules in a 60 million euro joint venture. South Korea is only just beginning to invest in renewable energy, but it's a market where German firms see enormous potential. All right, let's pull back in Jürgen Verler. He is with the Korean German Chamber of Commerce. Is it all that simple, Mr. Verler? German companies are enjoying endless demand for their products in Asia right now? Yeah, we have the right products, especially industrial products, which are needed for the enormous investment boom in Asia. And uh, with the rising quality of Asian products for the world markets, they need more and more components from Germany and especially with Korea, with the upcoming free trade agreement mm -hmm. from beginning next year, exports will grow over proportionally. Let, let's talk a little bit about South Korea. That is your um, area of expertise. We've got a graphic here we want to show people. Last year, Germany exported almost 8 billion euros of goods to South Korea, and we can talk about a healthy trade balance here. South Korea sold seven and a half billion euros of goods to Germany in 2009. Which sectors here, Mr. Verla, are enjoying the strongest trade? So the number one is machinery, uh, second is chemicals, and third are cars and car components. And all three sectors will certainly gain in the years to come. There are a lot of people here in Germany, here in Europe, who criticize Asia, China in particular, by saying that a lot of companies there are buying up the technological know-how and then producing goods at home, which they're afraid is going to hurt demand for exports coming from Europe. How do you see that? That might be true for China, for Korea certainly not, because the technical quality and the technology in Korean products is so advanced that you cannot just copy, you have to cooperate also in research and development with German suppliers. Let's talk money for a second. The yeah. euro, of course, at a four-year low um, against the greenback. Um, are you glad to see that? Are, are companies in South Korea now lining up to buy more goods because they're cheaper? I think there's no reason for any panic because we are still below uh, purchasing power parity and for the German export industry which suffered a lot uh, in 2007-2008, that's just a wonderful gift. Yeah, a gift. I have to ask you before we let you go, France has um, been saying to help in this economic crisis, Germany should reduce its exports. Um, it says the trading position is unfair for other European economies. What do you say to that? I see just the opposite. So if everybody would work like we do, <laughs> then everybody would be much better off. And Germany, unlike the Asian countries, we are spending our excess income from export as tourists. Germany is tourist world champion. Yeah. And the French, Italian, Spanish are rather not traveling to yeah, Germany. They don't need to but leave, we right? go there. And so All far, right. no reason. <laughs> All right. Mr. Verla, as always, thanks for taking the time to come in and talk with us.